so many couples get so focused on all the details that the moment comes they don't recognize we are standing before God right now. He ordained this forever, so soak this in and worship Him. Carissa, I love you. I am humbled and honored to soon be called your husband. I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you and to raise a family with you for the Lord's kingdom. Thank you for always being there to encourage and build me up. You're my best friend, love, helper, teammate, and soon-to-be wife. Let's chase Jesus for the rest of our lives together. Your soon-to-be husband, Jonathan Kieran. My beloved one, can you believe that this day is finally here? I never thought I would marry a man who so shares my heart. You are my best friend and lover, and I am overwhelmed by how much of Jesus I see in you. Your passion, love, joy, worship, humility, hunger for Christ, gentleness, and playfulness. I truly am better for the kingdom and glory of God with you than I ever could be without you. I am with you heart and soul. Love you with all that I am. Your joy named Carissa. He's going to do something amazing through the two of you, and he's here right now. He's the I am. That's the present, not I will be or I was, but the I am. about a God who made the heavens and the earth and he made man and woman and everything was perfect in this perfect relationship. And you see later on that sin entered in. Man disobeyed God and God is holy and he's just and he's love. And it broke that perfect relationship. And so God had to remove his own children. But God never stopped loving his kids. He loved him so much that he wanted that perfect relationship to be back, to be made whole. So he sent his son to die. And he took all of our sin, he took all of our suffering, all of our garbage on the cross so that we could be made right with him. And that if we believe in him, then we will be saved. about a relationship. Does this look like your relationship with Jesus, where it's a person that you love and you know? I mean, they keep this picture in your mind. That's what marriage was about, was to give a picture of Christ and the church.